Hey guys, it's hashtag hashbound, and today I will be showing you how to make some really OP TNT cannons. So first, we're going to start off with a classic TNT cannon. So what you need for that is some dispensers, um, some redstone, a building material, and a button. So let's get a button. Okay. Oh yeah, and slab and a uh, water okay so to get started you want to place some dispensers like this you can just start with three and put one here and three and then you're gonna have to take the stone put some there and then you're gonna want to build this too high and then one in the middle and then put one block right here and here is where your dispenser is going to be then you're going to need to put a stone slab right here and the water bucket right here okay so this is what it should look like right now and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put redstone across this like that and then you're going to have to put you're gonna have to put a button right here and then it should set it off like that. Or you could just like put the button right there. That should also set it off. And then you're gonna need to fill all this as TNT. And for this one, you could try and make an this part automated. So I need some repeaters and just put it along the side here. And then set to full ticks. Then you're going to need to put a block right here and some redstone connecting. If you push the button, it should also set that off. And then now all you need to do is just fill all this with TNT. And for right now, we're just going to put one stack of TNT in each. So then we'll be able to shoot this thing 64 times. And then you just quickly fill all this up. Okay, and now your should be your cannon should be ready to go. So as you can see, the TNT will go there, then it will be placed there, and then you can shoot your TNT cannon. And this one doesn't go very far since this is just like the simple design. Um, so, yeah. Now I'll be teaching you how to build a more OP TNT cannon. So this one is a lot more simpler. It uses a lot less materials. That's what I like about it. So what you need is a stone slab. Same as before. Some water. Same as before. Some dispensers. You're going to need a redstone torch. Repeaters, redstone, and I think that's it. Okay, so what you'll need to do here is you're gonna have to find a big area. So, what you need to start with is you're gonna put a dispenser right here and then put one like that so that it's diagonal. Then, you need to put stone slabs all around this bottom part and fill this up right here with water. Then, you're gonna need to take your dispensers, I mean your, your repeaters, sorry, and make a kind of a short clock. And you don't want to change your tick speed, so it will be at the shortest. And then, so to just start this clock, you're going to need to put the rest of the torch down really quickly and then break it like that. So then that sets off your clock. And then that's all you need, basically. And then, well, you also need some, of course, you need some TNT. And basically, you always want your bottom part to have. A good amount more than the top part so for the bottom part I'll put nine sacks and the top part I'll put eight sacks and then you just need some rest to set it off so what you gotta do first is you gotta connect this here and then that'll start setting off TNT and then next you just gotta wait till it blows up and then you can start doing that and as you can see it's kind of shooting in a sort of kind of rainbow pattern it's building a big hole and I recommend that you do this in the air because there's a chance in the beginning that it might come backwards and blow up your cannon. But as you can see, this just 
lobs can of uh, lobs TNT all the way and um yeah it can dig pretty deep down so that's another cannon it's very easy and simple and yeah so we'll just let this thing run a bit and um yeah let's go to the next cannon okay so what you need for this cannon again is some dispensers a torch some repeaters some redstone slabs and water and this is not really a new cannon it's just a bigger version of what we had back there and okay so let's get started so what you need to do this time is you can have dispensers going all the way across um, five that's why one two three four five yeah okay then you're gonna need dispensers on the top again like this and like this you're gonna put slabs all the way across once more and then just fill this place all with water and you don't want it to be flowing anywhere you just want it all of it to be source blocks um or else it'll mess it up so yeah okay then once again you'll want to um just let me use this water to clear this yeah and then you'll want to make a clock again first you're going to need a line and then you're going to need to build your clock back here okay so then same as before just make this very simple clock two repeaters four redstone and just set it off okay okay and then once again you're gonna need to fill this all with TNT it's just very simple and then okay I'll cut the recording back on once this is all filled up okay so quick update guys I just filled all this with TNT and just a reminder remember to put nine sacks in the bottom or just like put a significant more amount on the bottom layer or else it will blow itself up at the end okay so now what, what you need to set this off again is a piece of redstone and okay yeah so let's start and then it should start setting off the TNT what you need to do is wait till it explodes and you put that one there and put that one there this one just shoots a lot of TNT as you can see is my computer is lagging a lot and then just let's wait for that to load in uh, okay yeah so this one is very dangerous and yeah you can use this to make some big holes in your world and um, as you can see the TNT is just flying everywhere and okay well let's wait until it's all emptied out okay guys so quick update I think this cannon has emptied itself out and we'll just have to wait for that bottom layer to catch up yep completely empty all of this so first of all let's just break that real quick and um, let's look at the damage this thing done has done okay so lots of big holes I would think this would be somewhat bigger if there wasn't so much water around but yeah so you can see that this cannon did a lot of damage so that can really mess up your world okay well now that's done let's move on to the next cannon okay so this one is kind of like a cluster bomb cannon once again you'll need some dispensers some repeaters a redstone torch um some kind of building material we'll choose stone again and um and once again slabs well just one slab and a bucket of water okay so what you want to do here is okay let's see okay um build four this way four again put the stone here put that there that there 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 anyway. and you're gonna want to build this three high and then put one in the middle above them okay like that and then you'll put 
two dispensers right here and then once again let's find a button button and then you'll just put that right there then link all this all these dispensers up with TNT okay so as you can see this is kind of like the classic cannon but what's going to be different here is we're going to have a repeating thing here but yeah so remember to quickly make this and then and break it yep okay that's going off and always remember to put the slab there the water yep that's very important and then we're gonna okay, let's clear this but um okay we're gonna want to put a stone there and a stone there okay so we'll put this here and then we'll also put this here wait oops, sorry stone there and so there um We'll put this there. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to break that block. So then it's just running like that. And the reason for this is then you can just connect this back up and it'll start repeating. Okay, so what you want to do is you then want to fill all of this up, and especially these, because these will need a lot. So I'll cut the recording back on when that happens. Okay, so quick update. <laughs> okay, so quick update. I just finished loading all of these and once again you just need one piece of redstone to set this thing all up. So what you want to do is first you want to push this button and then connect this right here. Wait a bit. And then click that. Oh. Whoops, I messed that up. Okay. Okay, well, that didn't do much damage, so we're all good. We'll, let's just fill this back up. Yeah, so that's what happens if you wait too long. Um, before you stop letting it repeat. So, yeah. Learn from my mistakes, people. Okay. Okay, so let's just connect that back up. And get the slab back. Okay, so let's try that again. So. Okay, so let's put that there. And then once again, sorry about that, we're going to have to set this button off right there. And then take the redstone. Like that. And then that's just sent a bunch of TNT over there making a cluster cannon. Which is pretty cool. And, um, yeah. So we'll put that there. Repeat. As you can see, if you are very quick, then that can send a lot of TNT. And as you can see, that can shoot pretty far too. So this is a pretty nice cannon if you just want to do some devastating damage in one like kind of straight area. You can see you can see a massive bunch of TNT just flying over here. Let's get back over here. And yeah, so that is what is going on over here. And then you can always change this to a lever if you want, maybe something like that. And then you can, yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so put that there. And by the way, just in case you don't really know that much about TNT cannons, um, so what this is here is these dispensers in the back are the power. So when you set this off, as you can see, it just flows to the front here. And as you know, TNT can't, like, it it won't do any damage in water so that's why you have the water here it will just stop here and then the TNT here will be landing on this slab right here and it will be using the explosion power caused by this the TNT in the water to propel itself forward as you can see then it just shoots out and that's pretty cool so yeah there's that cannon and okay so that's gonna be it for today guys hope you enjoyed Leave a like button if you, I mean, press the like button if you did. If you enjoy my videos, hopefully you can subscribe. I'll be making a part two to this video, so in that video, I'll be showing you this very impressive cannon that takes a little bit more work, but it's really worth it. So stay tuned for that video, and I hope you are enjoying your summer, and bye.